Welcome to some shitty news. I'm your host Hey KJ, and here we are talking about some shitty news that happened in gaming and tech industries. So let's jump right into the news. The pricing of a new generation consoles was announced. Xbox and Sony picked completely different strategies. Sony PlayStation 5 will be available for $500 and $400 for digital version. Xbox, on the other hand, has much more interesting approach. Their Xbox Series X console will be available for 400 for 500 bucks, but the cheaper version will be available for four. 300 bucks. Microsoft claims that the only difference between two consoles is that Xbox Series X will have a native 4K resolution. Xbox Series S, on the other hand, will have a 1440p resolution with an upscaling up to 4K. But I have a question to ask you. But does this really f***ing matter with my 17-inch HD monitor? And also, I would like to speak from a perspective of all the people who just recently bought a gaming PC for Cyberpunk or some other games and now are afraid that it's also necessary to buy a new console. We are fine, boys. The only game that creates an urge to buy a console like PlayStation 5 right now is God of War Ragnarok. It will be released in the year 2021. Until that time, we still have a lot of opportunities to destroy the planet. Consider leaving a like and subscribing for more awesome videos. <laughs> okay. Back to the news. Sony apologizes for the mess that happened during pre-orders of their new console. And I quote, it could went a lot smoother. And the horde of raging gamers that cannot accept the fact that they will not be able to play on a new console the first second it was released went mad. So of course Microsoft picked up on it. They mentioned that they will not have any problems with pre-orders like some companies do. Okay. Of course, masses believe the huge company like Microsoft, and they were standing in a line on the website without refreshing their page. This situation reminded when clients are on a hold during a phone call, but without a shitty background classical music. Of course, Microsoft f up. However, while a lot of raging consumers were in a rush for a dopamine spike from buying a new toy for themselves, something really bad happened in the VR world. The new Oculus Quest 2 was released, and the bad thing is that it's really good. Oculus new headset has at least twice better performance and resolution and is 25% cheaper than Facebook's previous favorite child Oculus Quest. Why is this a bad news, KJ, you might ask? Because Zaki will crave for all of your data from your VR headset and he wants to know which kind of anime character gives you a boner in VR chat. So what, you might say, our data has been owned by huge companies like Google or Apple for a long time already, right? And I would say this is a valid point. But nevertheless, think about this for a second. If Facebook does this kind of step by creating one of the cheapest and one of the most powerful VR headsets available on the market, all other VR companies will not be able to keep up with them especially with their pricing, because Facebook will earn much more money from the ads and from your data. And this can change VR world forever, because companies will be dependent on the profits not from the hardware itself, but from the data and from the advertising. 
Remember how Instagram shows you an ad 10 minutes after you were talking about this thing with your friend while your phone was on the table? Now imagine this in VR. And also, if you have a fake Facebook account that is linked to your Oculus Quest library, you eventually will be banned and your games that you purchased will vanish. The last thing that I would like to say about this is... Thank you, Facebook, for trying to ruin the whole industry. Personally, I despise everything about Facebook and their strategies. The Facebook website for a long time served as a platform for shitty e-commerce. But let's have faith that they will f*** up somewhere and we will still have a chance to experience a better version of a VR world. And the VR industry can be saved. Talking about saving the industry. Microsoft decided to purchase a ZeniMax Media parent company that owns companies like Bethesda, ID Software, and a lot of other game developing companies. So basically games like Fallout, Elder Scrolls, and Doom will become Microsoft's property. Well, f PlayStation owners might say. But it's not that bad as you think. First of all, everyone, including the holy Ryan Howard, the creator of Fallout, said that they are planning to continue a multi-platforming approach. And this deal does not mean that from now on all the games will be just Xbox and PC exclusives. The other point is that Microsoft will never leave themselves without this huge cut that they will get by selling games from Bethesda or ID Software on PlayStation. But the temptation to bend over Sony and f*** them with all of their great exclusives is real, I can only imagine. However, how Microsoft can win from this deal is by using their new Xbox Game Pass service. Basically, by selling games for $60 on all other platforms while selling them for $10 monthly with their new service can create a pretty big demand for Xbox and an overall advantage for Microsoft. Still, we don't know what plans Microsoft is preparing because of this deal. The only thing that comes down is the fact that all the great talents and game developers who worked on the previous projects will keep on working on the new projects. So we shouldn't expect any drop in quality of those games. That was all for today's release of some shitty news. I hope you found this interesting or enjoyable. I'll see you in the next one.